Hi there, this is Alfie Wattam, London's tech recruiter and the host of the London Technology Podcast. Uh, today I'm joined by Claudio and we're going to be talking about a few different things. Um, thanks for joining us. Could you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Yes, of course. So I am a software engineer. I've been in the tech industry for eight years now. And I started when I was like 21. I didn't finish my university because I thought it was more important for me to start in the industry, start working and build my own path. And I changed loads of companies, like seven, eight companies in the last year. I moved into different cities, uh, two different countries. It's been a very different and wide uh, path in my career. I moved from full stack developer, backend developer in Java for a bank company. I've been an Android lead, and now I'm a CTO of a startup that is in Italy called Ada Travel. And, but the tech team is in London, so I'm managing the tech team in London. Thank awesome. you for having me. Yeah, that's a great story and, and background, and, uh, and thanks for, for obviously being here. Um, now, you've been in the industry for quite a while. Um, have you got any advice for people that are just starting their tech careers? Yes, of course. This is a very wide environment. There are so many different technologies. Uh, every year, we have different technologies, different languages that we can use. So my advice is try everything you can. Let's try to bring any idea, any things that can excite you, even if it looks crazy at some times, or it's a very weird language that nobody uses, because it's, it, there's so many different things that you can do, and you want to find the real things that passion you, and it's not easy. So try everything, and you will find the things that you want to be the best in that environment, that field. It can be a language, it can be a technology, anything. So just, just keep trying, and you'll find something that is very interesting for you. Yeah, no, it's good advice because a lot of people, they, you know, after they go through the uni system, they're kind of told what to do and focus on from a, a tech perspective. And yeah. they don't get the, the opportunity to try a few different things and really find yeah. themselves what they enjoy. So it's interesting to see that you've been on that path and you, that you can share that advice with people. Yeah, of course, because the companies, the interest in the company is just to build you as a developer for that company. They don't really care about your your knowledge, your skill set, because it's not what it works for them. So maybe they're going to spend some money to teach you stuff, but it's going to be strictly related for the company, for what it's useful for them. So if you want to do these things, it has to be in your own time. So it, it takes a lot of effort, definitely. Yes, I mean, it does. There's a lot of great resources out there, though, to, uh, to continue to, to learn the latest and greatest tech and to, and to keep up to date. Um, now, speaking of the, the latest and greatest tech, um, from a, a futuristic perspective, are there any technologies which you're excited about, which you think will have a big impact on the, the future ahead? Well, definitely is the artificial, artificial intelligence is definitely the future. Today, we have a lot of companies and projects that use artificial intelligence as a, just, you know, some kind of marketing name that can use to propose something that's very high tech, but there's, very few people and companies in the world that are using artificial, artificial intelligence in the right way. AI is not something that you can do like easily. It takes a lot of study in mathematics, uh, statistics. It, if you want to create a proper neural, uh, neural connection, neural network to teach artificial intelligence to the computer, it takes a lot of effort and study. So there are a few tools, very interesting, like TensorFlow in, uh, from Google. But that's not the same things. If you want to dive deeper inside, it's it's a lot more than that. And I wanna I won't do that. I wanna keep studying. I'm back to my university, I guess I can say, because I'm studying again all maths and statistics that I need. But I think it's worth the effort because it's gonna be the future. Everything is gonna be AI at some point. And we we really need that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um obviously AI as well has a big future impact on on the sector that you're currently working in in, in travel um with like you know chatbots and other things that can you know replace customer service representatives and and a whole host of applications i mean that's just one that one that comes to mind um and that sort of thing yeah definitely. 
Brilliant. Well, thanks so much for, for your two cents and, and ideas and insights on, on those areas. And um, obviously it was useful advice for, for graduates and people that want to find out about um, different technologies to focus on from a cutting edge perspective. And um, so thanks very much um, for, for your time and thank you to everybody for, for watching. Thank you. Bye.